It is time for another Amazon Home Hacks video. Today we're talking specifically about one of my favorite topics and that is organization. I have put in the legwork and found some of the best hacks and products for organization from Amazon and we're gonna do it right now. First up, Amazon is an amazing place to get your clear storage bins. I'm talking specifically about ones that go into shelves, like for pantries, for craft stuff, for kids' toys. The reason that I love Amazon is because I've said this to you before, in order to do good, um, like proper organization that's the most effective, not proper is not the word, the most effective organization is you need to start at the source. Lots of times we end up in the Target aisles or like browsing at Marshalls and we come home with all these cute little totes and they're not the right size, they're not functional for what we are trying to store. So you always start at the source. So you go into the cabinet, you go into the drawer, you go into the pantry, the closet that you are trying to organize. You need to take a look at what you're organizing in there. Look, I'm counting with my pinky. Who starts, who starts with their pinky? You need to look at what you're organizing in there and then you need to get measurements of your space and this is the most important. Know the depth, know the height, know the width and then you can get a bin that's going to maximize the space the most. And this is why I love going to Amazon because there's just so many options. You can get lots of different um, shapes and sizes to maximize your space the most. Certainly bins to just collect random stuff are not going to be helpful, but when used intentionally, when you have a, a clear purpose for your bins, they can be a huge game changer to keeping things uh, well stored in your home. And speaking of clear bins, Amazon has, in my opinion, the best in drawer organizers that you can find. So these are like the small clear, sometimes they're white, I'm calling them clear. These are like the small um, bins that you can buy to put inside of drawers, bathroom drawers, desk drawers. I have tried a lot of these over the years of doing organizing just through trial and error, creating videos, trying different ones. And I can tell you why these are the best ones. One, the variety pack that they come with gives you so many different options to fit inside of your drawers. But two, these ones come with these little grippers on the bottom, so they're not sliding all over the place inside of your junk drawer. Usually I buy my bins and then I use museum gel and I'm like sticking them down with this. These are just these like little nonstick pads so that they're not floating around in your drawer every single time you open and close it. These are hands down, in my opinion, the best in drawer uh, bin organizers you can get from pretty much anywhere because I have tried a lot of them. And then on Amazon, I got these little cord clips this is another great organizational product for helping with um, just like cable management. They come in different sizes and varieties. They have sticky bottoms and you can sort of stick them in different places to help keep basically just your cords organized. Another product you need to know about is Hugo's Amazing Tape. This is a reusable, double-sided, non-stick adhesive tape. It's essentially removable and reusable. So you can simply cut the length that you want and then tighten the tape around different items to create like a tension and then you press it together and it sticks to itself. I love using this to bundle cords. Next up is the label maker. I've talked about my love of labeling many a times before. This one is really great because it is just so versatile. You can get different tape widths, so you can do thicker, you can do thinner, and then it all connects just to your phone. So you can label pretty much everything in your home from tiny little labels that you need to create to big labels for like basements and attic. And I know I've talked about how much I love labeling in the past, but it truly does make such a difference to keeping my home tidy. And I talked about this recently in a video about viral organization hacks, but the reason it's so important is because it just puts your brain on autopilot for you. Even if you know where something goes, lots of times when we're running around and we're tidying up and we're cleaning, we're throwing stuff into drawers. And by having a label, it essentially skips a step for us. We don't have to wonder exactly where in the drawer something goes. It increases the likelihood that things are going to get back to where they go and stay more organized by at least, I don't know, 50%, 100%, 2000%. 2, I haven't done this, the study, not to mention, it makes it easier for other people in the household to know where things go, if you have company visiting. I also feel like the process of labeling just forces you to give things a home, which we've all heard when it comes to staying organized, one of the most important things is to give everything a home, which you could definitely do in theory, but the process of labeling it just concretely makes you do that. And so it can sort of help you give homes to things that maybe you hadn't before, which is just gonna help sort of like complete that 
the circle of life, the circle of organization life. Okay, next up, let's talk about these QR codes. This is amazing for sort of like overstock storage. So stuff that you may keep in basements, in attics, in closets. Also would be really great if you're moving, but essentially the idea is you get these QR stickers, you scan the QR, it comes with this handy little app. You, you scan the QR code and then you can take pictures of everything you are going to be putting into that bin or box. You stick the sticker on the bin or box and now you have an inventory in the app of everything that is in that bin. So this is just such an amazing way to keep like, again, that overstock stuff um, organized really easily. This next little trick I wanna show you is what I call my backdoor station. It works especially amazing for me as a mom. There's a lot of stuff that you kind of need in that backdoor area, right? Like as you're going out the door, when you're in the backyard, and a lot of that stuff tends to kind of overflow. I feel like it always ends up like randomly in junk drawers or like kind of near the back door. So I bought these three clear bins from Amazon and then I used my Amazon label maker to label them. And now I have just like a really easy little station because I feel like lots of times your outdoor stuff sort of ends up inside and it's one of those things that just end up, ends up cluttering up your countertops. I'm talking about things like your sunglasses or sunscreen or your kid brings in a toy that's an outside toy and it belongs outside but like now it's on the countertop. So I created this little station. So I have a spot where it goes when I'm cleaning up in the house. You know, I realized the kid brought some bubbles inside. I can easily put it in the outside toy bin. And the next time we go outside, I'll take it out. I've got sunscreen, I've got bug spray, which is something we usually need as we're heading out the door. Another thing on this note that I'm gonna show you that's just under it, there's also Amazon um, bin. I created a little shoe station for my kids and I keep all of the socks right here by the back door. I've shared this before, but socks do not belong up in your kid's room because every time you go to get out the door, you're gonna realize you don't have the socks. Even if you try to get in the habit of putting the socks on when you get dressed, it doesn't always happen, right? They put the socks on early, then they step in a puddle of water. Now they don't have socks. I'm just telling you socks by the back door is where it is at. I started doing this for my kids, but now I keep all my socks by the back door too because it just makes so much more sense. I was constantly having to run upstairs for my own socks. Now socks are all by the back door. One of my favorite pantry type organization items from uh, Amazon that I've shared with you a million times, but I just can't stop talking about it, is my spice jars. Um, I love these. Ever since I decanted all of my spices into matching spice jars, it makes life so much easier. I'm sorry, it just does. Everything is cohesive. Everything fits onto one shelf because it's not very various sizes of jars and like different heights and different widths and they can't all be the same. Now my trick that I always share here is when you decant your spices, you wanna have an overstock bin. I keep mine right above it. This is for all of my extra jars. So if I bring in a new spice, I can very quickly add that spice to my collection. I keep the extra labels and a funnel here so I can very easily swap out new spices or add in new spices as well as just keep overstock. So maybe I did buy a really big thing of peppercorn and it's not gonna fit in the smaller jars. The overstock can go up there. But I'm just telling you, this is such a much easier spice management for me. Not only do I use my spices more, I keep them more organized. It's easier to find them, way easier to cook. I know where everything is and it has just been to me a amazing kitchen organization sort of trick and on that note this is a tiered bamboo shelf and you can get this on amazon it's also expandable which is amazing because you can expand it to fit any size um shelf next up drawer dividers um i am a big lover of door of door i keep calling them door dividers drawer dividers okay it just helps give um, bigger drawers some structure. So even though like a drawer is gonna have all baking stuff, the divider is just going to help keep things a little more organized. So I can have maybe more nuts and uh, chocolate chips on one side and more like sugars and flowers over on the other side. So even if it's like, you're like, it's all the same stuff going in there, it helps keep things more structured and it just keeps things more organized. It makes it more likely things are kind of gonna go back to where they usually do. And when you're looking for them, it's easier to find them. I also love them in dresser drawers. Um, about a year or two ago, I moved over to completely doing all file folding for all of my clothing. I've shared this before, it is the best way to organize clothes because you can see it all at once. And the drawer dividers make this really, really uh, easy because you can just like divide off each of your filing sections, especially for my kids' clothes. I can do long sleeve, short sleeve, 
you know, sweaters, sweatshirts. It usually just means the stuff is gonna stay organized longer and it's just going to be overall easier to manage. All right, this next product is amazing for cord management. I hate cords. I hate having cords out and about. Unfortunately, you can't live without them. You need them for so many things in life, but I have found lots of little tricky ways to organize my cords. And one is this cord management box. These are really cool because they're designed specifically to hold just like excess cords. So I keep one, we have one for in the office, in my husband's office space, which is in our bedroom, and then one for my nightstand. Cause my nightstand ends up having to have all sorts of cords because we have like the phone chargers there and we have um, my kid's monitor there and our, our sound machine there. And then there's a lamp and there's just like all sorts of cords end up on the nightstand. And then it just like doesn't look nice next to your bed. You know, like, you know, like climb into bed and you're just like looking at all these cords. So it's just a nice little box. It's got a cute little like wooden top to it, but it's ventilated on the bottom. So you can put cords and like power blocks in there and it just keeps it all easily managed. Um, and just sort of like tidies it up for you, if you will. I specifically love this in office spaces because I feel like that's the one place where you end up with just so many random cords. All right, my friends, that does it. That is some of my favorite organizational items and hacks and tricks from Amazon. I hope that this helped you get some good organization inspiration for your own home. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.